Howdy folks, welcome back to Railroads Online. Today we're back over at the freight depot yard and uh, getting hooked back onto this train. So we need to run some supplies various places. I uh, need some pipes over at the refinery. I think I have everything else. So Today we're just gonna be running some trains. Um, I forgot and brought these boxcars over here. I think I, was, I, think I uh, stated that in one of the prior videos. I should have left these over yonder but uh, I'm gonna cut these off stick them back here in the stub yard and we're gonna get uh, going with the rest of the train go get some stuff come on train I swear I moved that maybe I didn't <laughs> oh well we'll see I'm trying to get some uh, stuff recorded here on the lunch break as usual busy times We've got a family Christmas coming up this weekend. So we got to pile in the truck and drive 200 miles. Have some Christmas. Come back and then of course we'll have regular Christmas on Christmas Day as well. So I'm not going to have much time. But I'm going to try to get a bunch of stuff recorded. So if y'all have some downtime over the holidays, you'll have something to watch here on my channel. Definitely got that forward enough. So I did get the uh, crew dropped off at the refinery. And it does just unload on the dock, the wooden dock. It just drips on there. <laughs> Soaks into the wood and ends up in the tank. Then I took the uh, tank cars back over to the oil wells and I had enough to fill up one more car. So we've got one car of crude sitting over there. Uh, but we need more pipes. We need more tools. We need we need more everything. So we're going to be working the railroad. So I want to get... I'd like to have the two tankers full of uh, oil. Not crude, but actually refined oil. I'm sorry, not the tanker cars. The, uh, the bulkhead flats. Full of oil barrels. Or at least some oil barrels. But to do that, we've got some work to do. So that's what we're doing in today's video. We've got probably at least a couple more videos before I give this a rest. Well, thanks for the tip, by the way. I had no idea. Oops. That these ladders actually worked. Well, they work when the train's not moving. Slow down! <laughs> I hadn't even noticed the uh, ladder on the side of the boxcar. So thanks to whoever pointed that out to me. It's good to know. Yeah, when it's still, you just walk up to them and doink, you're right up on top of the car. Almost like it was designed that way. It's amazing. Still getting used to just a click now. You don't have to click and drag on stuff. A little toot on the horn or whistle just to show that we care all right back out we go so oh looks like we have a break in our train big surprise <laughs> need another patch i know they're working on that they've got a big old list of things they're working on so hopefully we'll get a patch soon. It's kind of a pain when your train keeps breaking in half. Every time you save and load. Uh, so we need that switch. All right, so we're clear of that. Throw you. Put you back. I'm going to set these all back to straight through. There we go. You are on. So we're going to have to back up into these and I'll have to run back and get the other car hooked on. Run. Run all the way down here. bit of a 
break in the roadbed there. Not sure what's up with that. A little bit of milk throat going on today. Yeah, these are these were all hooked up to that train at one point in time. So let's get the brakes set on you. Brakes set on you. You should be good. Oh crap, I need to throw the switch. Run! Run! Whew. Okay. It's you. It's you. Run up here. Shut the train off. This is a life of the solo engineer slash conductor slash brake man slash track gang. Hey, at least we don't have any signal maintenance. Got that going for us. All right, shut you off. Lock you down. Make sure I took that off. I, I went ahead and after I loaded the save, I put the draw bar on there. Uh, it seems like this gets stretched out really far. Sometimes with just a link. So I went ahead and fixed that. That bug is still there. I think it's being worked on. Pretty sure that's on the list of things that are being worked on and tested for release. Now we just have to run back here. Turn off these brakes. And we should, in theory, be ready to head out. Although, do I want to... Maybe I want to leave those cars in the stub track here, too. I don't think we'll need them for logs. I've already transported some logs over. Uh, we'll need those for pipes. So, we'll, yeah, we'll go ahead and pull a forward and we'll drop those off as well. So, a lot of just switching work today. Hey! Guess who forgot to set the uh, the link back there? I'll give you a hint. Starts with a K and rhymes with turbo. You goober. There, let's leave that on so we can get the thing stopped. Gonna stop? Nah, eh, not not particularly. Not particularly interested in stopping. <laughs> Try that again. With more train this time. Or we could just do the coupler bounce bug. That works too. Wherever you feel like train. We just power our way out of it. Not not so much. All right, we'll have to bounce our way out of it. Backed into the slack. Give her hell. There we go. Now that we're moving, let's put her on about 40. Do a train check. Um, are we all moving? I think we're all moving. So I think we have... What do we have? 16 cars? 13 stakes and three of the other flats. Alright, I think we got a whole train. Let's highball. Several of you have asked about other locomotives, specifically the Class 70. I don't really have any plans to get another locomotive. Because I don't need one. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Working the railroad here, if we end up getting enough money, I think I need like another $2,200 or something like that. 
we end up with enough money, I might buy the Class 70. Just try it out. But really, the Mogul does everything I need it to do. I just wanted to try the Heiser because it's geared. The Heiser does pull on the steeper grades a little better. But the, uh, the Mogul is a great all-arounder. Can go fast. Ish. I mean, this is fast for narrow gauge already. Ooh, I wonder. Do I need to throw that switch up there? I think I might have come through the other direction. I can't see the... No, that switch is set to go straight, so that's good. Give her some juice again. I don't know why I like even numbers, like 40%, 60%. I just do. It makes me happy, okay? Um. So the next one looks okay. But the other leg of the Y. That one looks okay. So I, th I think we're good to come around. It's been a while since I was over here. I couldn't re remember which direction we came from. Yeah, these are good. Set to go around the right corner. Oh, uh, this, this part of the railroad bugs me. It's really ugly. I don't like it. That's okay. I'm going to be starting over from scratch at some point. So we'll try to do a better job next time. My plan, I think I've talked about this in prior videos, is to get all the industries working, you know, have an output, sell that. Then I'm going to give it a, a break for a while, wait for a bunch of nice updates to get put out. And then we'll start all over. And I may try to do things a little differently, a little more... Maybe not more professional, but maybe a little less haphazard, rushed, slapped together. We'll see. Run! I want to go that way. Stop just in time. It's okay. We probably need some wood in the wood box here. Firebox. Wood from the wood box to the firebox. Yeah. Spam it in there. I know I overfilled it. It's okay. Finally making a dent in this giant wood pile that the mogul has. Now let's do this. Let's hop into this view for a change. Wow, that takes a lot of effort to get this thing moving around that curve. It's kind of surprising. That's 40%. And those guys are set correctly to go line up. Uh, actually, I want to pull down. I want to leave these log cars out there on the main. Then I can... Oh, shoot. I was going to put those in the stub yard, wasn't I? <laughs> I completely forgot. All right, we'll leave those. I was thinking I could tack them back on the log train, but we don't really need to. We've got plenty of logs. This all... Well, I might need to... Need to get a bunch of lumber out of here. Yeah, I'm forgetful. You probably noticed that. What are we, like 26 episodes in? Something like that. 25 episodes. I forget. Yeah, I need to load up some lumber. Because I need beams elsewhere. And I totally forgot to leave those log cars over there. Quick, everybody acts surprised that I forgot something. All right, let's pull in out there. That'll work. Let's drop a safe.
Get some lumber loading. We need to take lumber somewhere. Might just kind of have to start at the beginning. I know we need, uh, was it lumber and beams over at the iron ore mine? I might need to make just another whole round of all the industries. As daunting as that seems. Although I, I have plenty of logs over here. So we got that covered. But I don't remember how we're doing on iron and, and rails and stuff. Yeah, we'll get these loaded up. I'll probably end up doing a live stream and doing a bunch of that work. Rather than making like six videos of me running all over the railroad. You've all seen that before. I'm going to load these two and then... We'll do something else. Can load the rest of the train off camera. Uh, where did I leave the Heisler? I kind of forget. It looks like I've got... Oh yeah, it's down there on the other track. Now I remember, because I had the hoppers and the cordwood ready to go to the iron. Uh, what's it called? The smelter. Yeah, the smelter, that's it. So, I could just build a giant train and pull it with the Heisler. Leave these log cars over here somewhere. Because all that needs to go. This lumber could go to the iron mine. Got, uh, I'll have some beams because we're pulling out lumber. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll make this uh, an iron mine train with lumber and beams. And then we'll end up tacking that on. Probably pull it over there for the Heisler because it's going to be, what, 13, 17, be 20 cars. Might be a little much for the Mogul. Well, we could try with the Mogul. I don't know. Can't decide. Anyway, I'm going to load some more of the strain up. And we'll be back to finish out this video. We're uh, loaded up. Lumber and beams. It's time to pull around and get hooked up to the rest of the train. And move the highest out of the way. Now you may remember uh, we had some trouble with this part of the railroad last time. And you may also hear the cat. She thinks I should be paying attention to her instead of recording videos. <laughs> uh, we're going to pull around. We'll see how this goes. The cars and stuff do seem more stable, but we'll see if it wants to pull in half. I was pulling with the Heisler last time. I don't know if that made a difference. Probably would pull a little harder. We'll see what happens here as we go around the curve. Easy does it. So I wonder if I had to put those hoppers up at the very front. Or if they would they would be okay in the back. They do seem overly heavy. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll stop this part of the train here. This will be the back of the train. Pull on forward. Look, the uh, hoppers and the bulkhead flats up. That'll be the front part of the train. Then we'll grab the rest. So I'll get that all done, and then we'll be headed over towards the iron line. This is a long train. I'm going to leave these uh, log flats here. And we'll deal with them some other time. <laughs> Look at this thing. Crazy. I know, like in you know real train lengths, it's not that long. But it's a lot of cars. 
for railroads online. So we got 13 stake flats, uh, five cord wood, so that's 18. Then we got four, so we're back to our 22 car train. So I'm not sure. Should I? I'm not sure if I'll drop off the. I'll probably drop off the mine cars in the siding, not the mine cars. The um, smelter cars. Take the rest up to the iron ore mine. I'm not sure. I got to run the train. All has to get done at some point. But anywho. This thing rolling. Wish I could zoom out just a little bit further. I think we're all on the move now. Yeah, we'll keep it about 60. We don't get too crazy. We don't have that far to go. Just threw some wood in the firebox. We got good steam pressure. 22 cars on the back. I think that'll be it for this episode. Don't want it to run on too long. But we'll just end as the mogul heads off towards the iron mine and the smelter. Full train in tow. Thanks as always for watching. Y'all take care and I'll catch you in the next one.